Good morning. So I've built all of the cabinets. We'll just take a walk over here. I've kind of set them up in the kitchen orientation actually without some of them. So you can see they're all here. Everything's over here. Uppers, lowers. They're just clamped together now because they have to be moved. So there's the pantry. There's the laundry. Yeah, all kinds of them. So you can see all the way along here. So now I left, I left the most difficult to last, which is usually the opposite of what I do. I usually do the most difficult first. So we have something called a plate rack, okay? So it is a rack that holds all of the plates, obviously. So if you look on the drawing here, I just gotta find it, just hang on. Where is it? There it is. If you look there, it's that one right there, okay? So there are 24 plates that, the, that I have to have a spot for. So there's a bit of math to get to that point right there. So there's just some wood on top there. So there is the plate rack there, okay? And then this partition right here goes into each one of these slots. So there's going to be 20, going to be 24, 23 of those, and that will leave 24 vacancies for plates. So <clears throat> the way that you figure that out is kind of cool. So if you look up here on the board, so there's the plate rack, okay? It says it must hold 29 or 24 plates. Each plate is 23 millimeters high, so the height of the plate, like this high. And each dot plate is 280 millimeters in diameter. Okay, so there's basically a picture of the plate rack there. It's 32 inches high. I'll back up a bit here. 32 inches high, and it's 36 inches wide, and it's 12 inches deep. The bottom is 12 inches high, the middle is 8, and then the top is 12. So now, if you go over here, you look at here, right here, if I get my act together here. So the total width between the gables, so the gables are the uh, vertical uprights holding the cabinet together, is 861 millimeters. And each partition, those little partitions that I made, are six millimeters thick. So if you go over here and you do some math, so the total is 861, okay? You take 23 partitions and multiply it by 6, you get 138, okay? Well, subtract those two, so you get 723. You take 723 and divide it by 24. That's how many vacancies we need for the plates. And that's what you get, 30.125 millimeters between each one of those partitions, okay? So that gives me, a plate is only, uh, where is it? A plate is only... 28 millimeters high, or, uh, or sorry, a plate is only 23 millimeters high, and I'm giving 30.125 millimeters. So that gives me some wiggle room. You don't want the plates too tight. <clears throat> so if you look over here, in between each one of those slots where the partition goes in is exactly 30.125 millimeters. Bit of trick mathematics there, okay? So in order to figure that out, you got to be on your game with regards to math. So I just wanted to show you that. So now I've made a stack of six millimeters. I've taken and traced the template on each one of those. I'm going to cut those now and then we'll put them all in and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, thanks.